As the number and types of workloads increase, so does the complexity of protecting and managing them all. With data lakes taking center stage for businesses, having a way to quickly and efficiently protect and recover them becomes critical during a cyber attack or disaster. Commvault Cloud Auto Recovery provides a single platform to deliver secure, automated recovery at scale to help you quickly and securely recover VM workloads from disasters with minimal data loss and downtime. This session demonstrates how to use Commvault Cloud Auto Recovery for automated and proactive cyber recovery. The session covers configuring a recovery group to protect a vSphere VM using AWS, setting up a post-recovery script, and verifying replication. So let's start with Commvault Command Center and get into auto recovery and auto recovery groups. In the first part of the demo, we're going to look at how to create a recovery group with an on-premise VMware vSphere VM. Click on Add Recovery Group and select Virtualization to create a recovery group for VMs. Enter the name of the recovery group and select the source hypervisor where your production vSphere VMs are located. You can create a new hypervisor connection directly from this screen. However, it is recommended to pre-create one before creating the recovery group. Once the hypervisor is selected, click on Add Virtual Machines to select the VMs to be added to the recovery group. You can browse the VMs from this page, or you can also search and select the VMs to be added to the group. Next, you need to select a recovery target where you want to recover your production VMs. As in the previous step, you can create a new recovery target from this page. However, we recommend to pre-create a recovery target before creating the recovery group. For this demo, we will select a pre-created recovery target. You can change the frequency at which replication happens, and this will determine your recovery point objective or RPO SLA. If you want to optimize costs on the recovery site, you can enable warm site recovery. In warm site recovery, the recovery VMs and associated disk volumes are not created during replication. Instead, they're created when a failover or a test failover is initiated. This will reduce the costs incurred in the recovery region. One thing to note here is that if warm site recovery is enabled, then the recovery time objective will be longer as the deployment of VMs happens during failover. You have the flexibility to edit some of the advanced options if needed. We auto-select smart defaults for all these options. However, you can change them according to your business or application requirements. If you want to extend the recovery orchestration capabilities, you can configure pre and post scripts, which will be executed during failover, test failover, and failback. These scripts can be used to validate the VMs and the data within the VMs. They can be used to enable Microsoft Defender scans or integrate with other third-party tools. Select Actions and click Configure to add post-failover script, which will be executed once the failover is completed. Select the UNC path to the script location and the credentials required to access the script. Select the storage to be used for the recovery points. You can create a storage from the group page, but it is recommended to pre-create the storage before configuring the recovery group. If you want to configure a secondary storage copy, which can be used for replication, then enable to replicate using secondary copy option. Optionally, you can override replication in recovery options for individual VMs. You can override the recovery network IP address and the instance type to be used. Review the configuration in the summary page and click Finish to create the recovery group. VMware to AWS recovery group is created successfully and the replication has started. In just a few minutes, we've shown how Commvault Cloud Auto Recovery minimizes the impact of data threats broadly across the cloud, on-prem, and SaaS workloads for business continuity. Check out more of our demo videos to see how easy it is to test failovers perform, plan and unplanned failovers, and end after disasters are over to see how simple it is to fail back to your primary site.